Now, doctor, will you reveal the answer to this true or false question? And the most common consequence of impacted wisdom teeth is gum disease. True or false? Yes. True. True. So if you answer true, you got it right. <laughs> you win. <laughs> so why is that? Because of the chronic inflammation of the surrounding surrounding the impacted wisdom tooth, mm -hmm. if it connects to the mouth, then got you it. get gum disease. Mm -hmm. Now, can you describe what gum disease is? Well, any inflammation of the gum tissue, mm -hmm. it's gum disease. And there's um, one entity in particular called periodontal disease, in which uh, the, the, it's generalized. Mm -hmm. In this case uh, of uh, the wisdom tooth in particular, it would be a localized uh, gum infection. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned a little earlier that if your teeth are impacted, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see pain. Is this true? True. Correct. Yes. And why is that? Because some people have their wisdom teeth, um, they are able to clean them slightly. Mm -hmm. They don't get infected yet. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they're just deep into the, into the gum and bone tissue and they're just sitting there. But they may be brewing some problem. So That word brewing, okay, so yeah. this would be a big indication <laughs> that even though they're okay, you may need them removed. Correct. And, mm -hmm. and, and how do you tell and how do you differentiate? Well, you see the possibility of the tooth coming into the arch if it has mm -hmm. enough space, if it's going to be able to be cleaned. Right. Uh, also, you see its relation to the other teeth to see if there's any uh, possibility of damaging the neighboring teeth. Right. If the angulation of the tooth is not um, appropriate, also it would be uh, problematic. Mm -hmm. They're never going to come out in the right spot.